Why are scientists interested in time? Measuring how old things are helps us to recognise patterns in how people, culture and country change over tens of thousands of years. One way of measuring how old things are is through radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating can be used to measure the age of organic materials like wood, bone or shell. Radiocarbon dating measures the amount of carbon-14, a radioactive isotope found naturally in our environment. Carbon-14 is formed in the atmosphere by the interaction of cosmic rays and nitrogen. Plants then absorb carbon-14 during the process of photosynthesis. Animals take in carbon-14 from eating plants or other plant-eating animals. When plants and animals die, no new carbon-14 can be absorbed into their tissues from the atmosphere. The bones, wood and shells left behind typically have the same amount of carbon-14 as their environment. Over time, bone, wood and shell lose carbon-14 through a process called radioactive decay. The rate of this decay is constant. It takes 5,730 years for the amount of carbon-14 in a material to reduce by half. Scientists call this the half-life of an isotope. The amount of carbon-14 molecules left at the time when the bone, wood or shell is sampled can be used like a clock to measure how much time has passed since the plant or animal died. Measuring radiocarbon takes a team. Field scientists will collect a sample of the material that they want to date and send it to a radiocarbon dating laboratory. Here, specialist scientists will carefully prepare the sample and then place it in a machine called an accelerator mass spectrometer. The spectrometer separates the carbon-14 isotopes from other isotopes in the sample. A beam of carbon-14 isotopes is then fired at a reader that measures the number of isotopes left in the sample. This measurement is used to calculate how much time has passed since the plant or animal died. Radiocarbon can be used to date organic material up to 50,000 years old. Material older than this has too little carbon-14 left to measure. Other methods that don't rely on carbon need to be used to date very old material. Dating materials from the past help scientists observe patterns in the story of people and country. These patterns help us to answer questions like when did people first arrive in Australia? How did Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures differ in one place and time compared to another? What was the climate and landscape like at different times? Radiocarbon dating is an important scientific technique for telling the deep time story of Australia.